Well, good morning, everyone. It's uh, about 20 to 10 here uh, on Wednesday, uh, the 14th of September. I normally do these on a Tuesday, but unfortunately, my uh, video recording uh, software went on the blink uh, yesterday afternoon. Uh, so I hope this is OK. Uh, as you can see, we had a huge down day yesterday where uh, the inflation numbers upset the bulls. Uh, there was a great deal of anticipation in the market that inflation would abate. Uh, that wasn't the case. Uh, and the uh, prospects of a huge uh, interest rate hike by the Fed uh, uh, came back into everybody's consciousness. So we came down the S&P off 177 points. Uh, the short-term trend on VectorVest is still up. Uh, the underlying trend is down. Uh, we're in a confirmed down situation, and I'm glad to report that the uh, DEW market timing system, in fact, didn't print a buy during this, and that's what I personally use to tell me it's safe to get into the marketplace. So, if I uh, this is the VectorVest Composite US, I, I'll explain these levels before. I've spoken about these levels many times over the last week or two, uh, but first of all, we put on the uh, DEW market timing system. Uh, and uh, the buy signal on the 19th of July and the sell signal uh, a couple of weeks ago. And that uh, we're still on sale as we go into the day. There was no doubt there was a bottom fishing opportunity here. And if you follow Steve at uh, VectorVest in North Carolina, uh, he spent a better part of the last 10 or 15 years developing that bottom fishing, looking for two to three day fast moves off the bottom. You need to be fairly uh, fleet of foot to make some money in there. And of course, it takes a great deal of what I refer to as to stick your fortitude to actually uh, to take the move. Uh, uh, that move, it would seem, hasn't followed through. Uh, the last move up uh, that we had the day before yesterday occurred in very, very, very low volume. Uh, and uh, uh, we came off and we came off uh, significantly yesterday. On the uh, intraday charts, uh, this level is exactly a 62% retracement of the move down uh, from uh, uh, this top, this last top. Not quite on the uh, cash chart, but on the intraday chart, uh, especially on the e-mini futures contract, it comes out to the tick. So have a look at that if you get the time. Now, these levels are really important, folks, because um, uh, if the market should close below this level, I've said this many times before, uh, then this would confirm that this is a corrective wave rather than an impulsive wave. And uh, what happens after corrections that the market just keeps going in the in the direction of the uh, bigger trend. And, and uh, unfortunately, if we do close below this particular level, uh, then uh, certainly we'll get to the June lows and we could get much, much lower indeed. So it's a, a time for hard hats, folks. I haven't got any U.S. positions at all, uh, uh, but I have got U.K. positions, and I assure you that the U.K. market will fall in a similar fashion. Uh, so uh, it's time uh, to, in fact, protect capital. There's the U.K. market. Uh, as you can see, uh, the short-term trend is still up. The underlying trend is down. We've got a confirmed down in place. Uh, Vectorvest does not advocate buying any stocks at this time. That changed yesterday, I know. Uh, but, uh, uh, the, as I said, the DEW didn't turn up. I have positions in the uh, in the uh, UK. Uh, I'm down to about, I think, 38% invested. The rest's in cash. Uh, and uh, I will have actually no uh, hesitation in uh, getting rid of any that uh, actually hit their stop loss. Uh, so uh, uh, a time for hard hats, folks. Uh, Let's have a look at the VectorVest composite of the UK. There we are. Uh, exactly the same situation. That's the DEW. DEW is down since Powell spoke. And uh, market has rallied a little bit this morning. And with any luck, I I'll certainly be looking for another short, maybe this afternoon, uh, maybe tomorrow afternoon. Uh, I'll be looking for another short on the S&P. Uh, so, uh, and I'll be using my uh, spring setup, uh, you know, in fact, the opposite of the spring, the upthrust, to try and uh, uh, 
locate a, a low risk. When I talk about risk, I'm talking about the number of points I have to risk a high reward trade. The, the upthrust has worked exceptionally well in this uh, downswing. And I think I had three or four winning trades in a row in the last down move. So I'm, I'll be trying the same thing again. Uh, for those of you that uh, haven't come across uh, Mr. Wyckoff's upthrust or spring, uh, I speak about them frequently at the VectorVest trainings on a Monday afternoon and sometimes in these videos. Uh, so folks, uh, everything is pointing down, uh, both uh, this side of the Atlantic, uh, we're expecting uh, after the funeral is over, we're expecting a, 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 a half a percent, maybe three quarters of a percent and uh, in the US, uh, probably similar. US dollar, in fact, uh, got a new uh, set of legs yesterday afternoon as interest rates uh, should rise in the US and rise strongly. And that, that certainly wasn't good for the gold price. Uh, the gold price, in fact, uh, looking very, very weak indeed. So I hope that helped, folks. Let me reiterate hard hats. Uh, thanks very much.